the Southeast Congress of the All Progressives Congress says it will take over the seat of power in Anambra State when the governorship elections hold in November. This was announced during a meeting held in Idemili South local government area of the state. In a resolution read out by the Southeast Vice Chairman Ima Inuku, the party is optimistic that the election will serve as an entry point of the Igbo people into proper national politics. The South East stakeholders converge on the country home of the Minister of Labour and Employment, Senator Chris Ngigi at Alor, Idemili South's local government area of Anambra State, to discuss and strategize ahead of the November governorship election. We have a right to substitute our candidate because... Aside reaching a resolution on the target of the party for the elections, with assurances of a transparent party primaries, Anambra Gubernatorial Electoral Planning and Strategic Committee is inaugurated with former governor of old Anambra State, Senator Jim Wobodo, as chairman, and former governor of Abia State, Oji Uzokalo, as vice chairman. We, the Igbos, are now truly and fully prepared to play the mainstream politics expected of us in the country. Anambra State's November 18, 2017 governorship election is our entry point, and we hereby serve a quick notice to opposition party in Anambra State. The minister uses the opportunity to clear the air on the delayed Anambra Central senatorial election that has been ordered by the court to be taken afresh. We have a right to substitute our candidate because it's a fresh election. Correct. It's a fresh election. And what INEC is quoting and what uh, some people are quoting is uh, a case that involved the Labour Party and INEC. That case can be distinguished. I'm not a lawyer, but there's what is called distinguishment in cases. As a round of the meeting, the stakeholders move over to Allah Ward 1, where some defecting Afghan members are waiting to be received into the APC fold. Behaving like the change agent as you are. <laughs> Though the Southeast leadership of APC has energized its members with the positions taken in the meeting, all eyes on them to prove that they are equal to the tax, despite what appears like a huge admiration for the current Afghan government. <laughs> Meanwhile, political parties in Delta State have signed a peace accord ahead of the Wari South constituency won by election into the State House of Assembly. The agreements were signed at the Government House in the presence of security officials and INEC. This exercise is aimed at ensuring that the political parties, their candidates and supporters understand the need for a peaceful election. This calm atmosphere is what political parties hope to replicate in the Worry South constituency won by elections. They agree on a peace accord ahead of the exercise to fill up the vacant position in the Delta State House of Assembly. Major party representatives take turns to sign the agreement. The only missing signature is that of the All Progressives Congress, whose representative was absent. The Delta State Commissioner of Police chairs the Interagency Consultative Committee on the election. He is represented at this event by the State Assistant Commissioner of Police in charge of operations. He reiterates the command's zero tolerance for violence. Zero tolerance for violence. 